Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. Woke up feeling refreshed, peaceful, grateful, safe. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, and gave donations. I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Thank you. No personals at this time. I'll let you know next week when I do more personals. It's a little early for me. Waiting to see if my daughter's softball tournament um, gets canceled because it's raining and cold here in the Northeast. So we were supposed to be somewhere in West Bubble, Pennsylvania. And, um, got a hotel room too, so that's going to be a loss. But honestly, I'd rather have make it into a cat and blanket day. I got some laundry to do, but other than that, it can turn into a cat and blanket day very easily. So I'm hoping for that. Besides, she's got a lot of uh, final stuff happening, so she needs more time with that. Okay, um, getting back to tarot. Let's do past, present, and future. I haven't done that in a while. Spirit, angel, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. We're doing past, present, and future. Past, present, future. present and then future hmm. interesting let's take a look <clears throat> we got the sun hierophant five of wands in the reverse I feel that in the recent past, Pisces, you have definitely found a new calling in your life. Um, it's like you, the, when I get the sun card, <clears throat> it's kind of like things cleared up for you. Like you used to have like a, it was probably a depression, something bad was happening, but it all cleared up. Like you're doing a lot better and, and it's been happening because this is in your past. So I feel like you have like this strong connection uh, right now to God because the Hierophant gives me the, you know, the godly feeling. Um, you, it's like you have a strong relationship with certain people in your life, um, with yourself, more importantly. So, yeah, I feel this good energy that's coming from your recent past. Um, I also feel here that you feel very connected with the five of wands in the reverse. Like there's no more inner turmoil that's been going on probably in the real past past. I feel an energy of like, you're OK. You've been doing good. This is your past energy, Pisces. So this isn't like. You just became good today. You've been doing good. And we'll get a little deeper into that. This is the present chariot, four of wands, strength card. These are really good cards, Pisces. I'm going to tell you something. What I feel here is that you have like a new purpose and a new mission in your life. I feel that a lot of things that have happened to you, you kind of learn from them. And it's like you're putting things into action these days to make a happier life for yourself. You're not trying to repeat mistakes. That's the energy that I feel. You're not repeating mistakes. You don't hold back. I've been feeling this with you guys for a while. Strength card in, rever in reverse. Uh, you're not holding back anymore. 
I think you used to be the person that used to try to contain yourself, contain your emotions, contain what you say, trying to be the bigger person type of energy. I don't feel like that you're trying to be the bigger person anymore. If someone is rude or ignorant to you, you let them know. And you do it in a Pisces way. That's the energy that I feel. You do it in a very psychological, make you look at yourself way. We'll go deeper into that. All right, your future, we got the Hermits, Four of Cups, and the Five of Cups. The energy I feel here is that there is no going back to the way things used to be. Um, I do feel here with the Five of Cups, there's an energy of another person. Um, I feel like this person might try to return or at the very least feel very sorry for what it is that they did. So I'm not really clear on it, but we will clarify all this. I might need more room on this table. I can't, I gotta figure out new, um, new setup. Okay, let's go into the past and clarify. It's like you found this amazing connection. I think something spiritual happened to you, Pisces, because that's the energy that I'm getting here. It's like you're not fighting with yourself anymore. You have this beautiful love connection. You've seen the light type of energy. So something happened very spiritual to you. Something happened. You've seen something. You felt something. You connected to something bigger than yourself. Tell me more about this past and this connection. Wow, the, 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 um, the emperor in the reverse, Pisces. My goodness, the emperor in reverse again. I already know what it means because I've been getting the emperor in reverse for you for a while now, Pisces. Um, it's definitely the energy of you doing and looking out for yourself these days. Um, I feel that someone has broken your heart, four of wands in reverse. I also feel like there was a lot of bickering because of the five of wands here and the four of wands there. I feel like there was a lot of bickering, a lot of arguments. Um, it's like you really had to let something go, two of wands in the reverse. Um, it's like you put in a lot of effort for something, but you had to let it go, but it was okay. Once you let all that stuff go, you got this bigger connection with God, which I do feel that you something really big happened to you. Um, and, and I'm not saying it's a negative thing. I feel something extremely positive. I don't know if you had like a, a, a dream. I don't know if you had an apparition. I'm feeling something supernatural that came into your life. I it could be an ancestor, it could be a, a deceased parent or loved one that kind of helped you and you know that they helped you. So that's why you got happier, Pisces. That's why you feel a bigger connection. You stopped arguing and bickering with yourself and other people. Because you kind of found your way. Someone gave you some light. Someone gave you like a path for you to go to, to for you to walk so you can get to a better place. Then we got over here with the present. Tell me more about this present situation. It's like you're a happier person. It's like you learn from your mistakes. You're making moves right now. Some of you can actually be moving somewhere um, with this chariot card here. You're trying to move into another house, four of wands. It's like you worked really hard for this house as well. And you're very proud of yourself on how you picked yourself up and you made something happen with your life. Tell me more about this energy in the present. Learning from mistakes, making changes, not holding anything back. There's the chariot again, Pisces. And there's the fool card. Some of you are definitely making moves. You got chariot, chariot, fool. These are all 
going somewhere, making moves. You're being very successful as you're doing it. Um, this is, I've been telling you this Pisces and it keeps coming up in my cards. This is your time to get things done, get shit done. You know, it's like an accomplishment time. Um, you're moving towards joy, happiness. You're moving towards a direction of getting it all. And when I say having it all, it's like, you know, really having it all, being happy, being spiritually fit, being, you know, mentally fit, being physically fit, being like abundant. I feel all this energy happening. And I definitely feel it's because you are no longer hiding from yourself type of energy. Um, it's like, I think before you were kind of vaguely putting yourself like on the shelf you weren't your full potential but that's not anymore pisces i feel like you're ready to fly you're ready to make these like decisions that you you've been kind of holding back on for a while because i feel like you've been thinking about it you've been in a happier place you've been kind of enjoying this happier place but now you're ready to take it to the next level that's the energy that i feel this is going on to the next level now so if some of you have some creative ideas um, that you're trying to implement, you're trying now, you're working towards it. And six of wands, four of wands, like it's all about success here. It's beautiful. All right, one more room. Let's go into this future. I potentially see someone trying to come back. I don't know, I get that with the figures, the hermit in reverse and then the five of pentacles. It's like it's someone trying to I'm going to say kind of ride your coattails. Ooh, ride your coattails of success because you're being successful. They want a piece of it. And then there's that numb feeling, which is making me feel that it's not sincere anyway. So there's a lot of insincerity, insincerity there. There may even be a fake ass apology, Pisces. A fake ass apology, I feel like. Tell me more. Four of Pentacles, the Star, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Not that great cards, Pisces. So the energy of this person that I'm feeling here is someone that really damaged you, your family, and your vision for your future. I feel the Star card here is the energy of breaking the miracle i feel like if you let this person back in your life you're going to revert so many steps back from where you were be very careful of this person coming in with this weird apology because it's not going to be sincere and i don't think you care anymore but this is just like a warning this person will definitely bring you back to a toxic place and you might feel bad for them because they look really sad and pathetic and I know you have that heart sometimes, Pisces, where you see somebody really going through it and you feel bad. I definitely feel that they right now are talking to other people about you, Pisces. I have felt that with the four of pentacles in reverse. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust this apology. I don't trust them. Let me just go a little bit deeper. Tell me more about this four of pentacles in reverse. They're being very open with other people. What is this? Tell me more. Five of Pentacles. It's a woe is me pity party that they do with other people. They're making excuses as to why things didn't work out with you, Pisces, why it didn't go a certain way. It's a bunch of excuses. It's a pity party. It's that energy, Pisces, where it's like they want some of your goodness some of your changes, some of your success, because you have a lot of success, Pisces. I definitely feel like they want your shit. They want some of your money, your house, your energy. They want some of it. Vacationing, if you're taking vacations, they see you taking those vacations and they're really upset about it. Expect a fake apology. I, that's what I'm telling you, Pisces. That's the energy that I feel. I feel a fake apology. It's all because they're sad. It's all because they, you know, this is numbness to me. This is like, it's not fair, you know, that Pisces gets all this stuff. It's not appreciating what you did have and then just playing the victim. You ruined a lot. 
there was a beautiful picture for you guys and this person ruined it. All right, let's do some advice. You know what? I always do this. Sorry. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. More about this Four of Cups. Six of Cups. Ooh, for some of you that have children, I should have gotten that with the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to try to seep in through your kids. Okay? They're going to try to seep in through your kids. Look at our children. Look what we did. Give me money, time, and attention. Now, that's what I just felt. So this is a warning, Pisces. They're going to try to come at you through your kids. And if not, they're going to try to make things so lovey-dovey. If you don't have children with them, they're going to try to make things seem so painful and so innocent. But it's fake. It's all fake. They just want a piece of whatever you have going on for you right now. Because they see that yeah, they can see what you're doing and they also feel it. Because right now, Pisces, you have that energy. You have that energy that shit's coming to you. And they could feel it. Making moves. Lots of moving. Vacationing? Could be. Vacations. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces? What advice do you have for Pisces? It's like everything you touch is going to become gold. Ooh, I felt the energy of determination, Pisces. Like you put it in your mind and you're ready to make it happen. Creatives. You guys are very creative out there. You guys all do different things. I've not met two similar Pisces yet. And when I say you do things that I never even imagined doing, it's you do. It's weird. It's very different. Spirit, what message do we have for Pisces? Courage. I always say this to you because this is true, Pisces. I'm here to confirm for you what you've been feeling. A lot of you are highly intuitive, empath, psychic, you know, my goodness, the, the array of abilities, like I, 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 I've just learned new ones through you. So nothing that I say is new to you, nothing. You already know these things. We're just like, you know, kind of vibing our own minds and seeing if we're on point, like confirmation. You do have courage, you're building that courage. And I definitely feel that it was rough you know, it was a hard time. I see the rock there and I feel that hard time. But eventually you rose. Eventually you found your strength, your voice. And you're unstoppable now. How the hell do you get the chariot twice, the fool card, the six of wands, the four of wands, and then you get smack courage in the middle? This is confirmation for you, Pisces, that this is your time that you have went through a tough season and you've been building and growing and things are only going to get better for you. The only thing is that heart of yours, Pisces, that someone might try to pull on, especially if you have children, especially if you really love this person and they might tug on you because they know you got a heart. So they might tug on it. I feel that energy. Let me tug on it because I don't feel good. I fucked up. I could have had it all with somebody. Ten of Pentacles in reverse there. So watch out for this person or people. They're very poor, Pisces. And I don't mean that just financially. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally poor. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.